God bless you all. <clears throat> a great shalom from uh, Belgium uh, in Antwerp, specifically. Uh, we've been here in Belgium for some time. Uh, from Greece, from Greece, Paris, Paris, Greece, Greece, Belgium. Uh, so we thank God for the the great work that's is doing and that he has begun to do in the land of Belgium. It's, ama it's amazing and it's so, so, so glorious. Uh, the testimonies and the amazing things that it's happening. We give praise to God. We thank God for the meeting that took place uh, on Sunday. Just such a blessing. God bless you, everyone that are getting connected. Lenny Mora Maranga, God bless you. Uh, see Tony, God bless you. It's good to be here. Susan say, God bless you. Richard Brenda, God bless you. Lenny Maranga, I'm coming to Germany. I'm coming to Germany. We are coming to Germany right after Belgium. So <clears throat> those that are in Germany should just prepare yourself. We are coming to Germany. Uh, we'll be with the people of Germany. Yeah. I mean, amazing things God is doing, and we give praise to God. Welcome to Germany. Great. We are coming. We'll be there, and the Lord shall show us a lot of good, and He shall bless us. And Germany, Switzerland, we are coming as well. We are going to have a very, very powerful time in Switzerland. And the Lord is going to do us a lot of good things. I mean, if you're in Germany, you're in Switzerland, prepare yourself for the coming, coming for the other week. And then from Switzerland, we are coming to France for a powerful time in France, in Paris specifically. We're going to be in Paris and uh, we're going to have three programs in Paris from Wednesday all the way until Sunday. Uh, it's going to be very, very powerful as well in the presence of the Lord. The message of the kingdom and the manifestation of the Spirit of God shall move with glory. Let me invite someone to give you a hello from Belgium. Let's say, let's say hello. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. We are mm -hmm. happy to be here with you, mm -hmm. joining you to receive the word of God. Mine is just to send my love <coughs> to all of you and to welcome you for this wonderful time as we share the word. We love you all and we miss you, Maranatha family. We miss you guys so much. Mm -hmm. By the grace of God, we shall see you very soon. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the service. Oh, that's all. You don't want to tell us your journey everywhere. <laughs> I have a lot to say, so I shall choose a time okay. convenient. But I'm here to, to share the word together with the man of God. So I'm right here. Praise the Lord. That's what's good. God bless you. Thank you, people of God. Are you here with me? Have you shared to as many you can the life? Please give me a thumbs up if you have shared this life that you have invited your friend to be connected. God bless you. I see many of you coming live. God bless you. Continue sharing. Betty, Shalom. Uh, Tabi, hello. We know. Thank you. God bless you. Let's continue to share this line. God bless you. Following from Machaco. Eh, Machaco County. <laughs> there are people here who like Machaco County. So. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Let's continue sharing. God bless you. Thank you for inviting more people. <clears throat> I feel so happy to have you all online and and communicate with you. God bless you. Thank you. Please feel free that as I'm going to have maybe in the next 30 minutes to share with you the word of God. Feel free if you want to drop a message and you want to uh, have more enlightenment into some specific uh, uh, subjects, 
so we can also discuss about that so feel free um, and you can text us so I insist if you have family in Germany you have family in Switzerland you have friends in Switzerland you have friends in Germany you have friends in Paris as well the program are all going to be set there in our page on, on, on social media on Facebook so you just go through and see the dates like Germany it's already from the third of June from the third of June all the way until the six we're going to be in Germany and then um, Switzerland from the seven the eight and the nine all the way until the ten we're going to be in Switzerland and then from the Switzerland God willing we're going to be uh, we're in Lucerne and then we're going to be in Geneva and Geneva we're going to be in Paris now Paris we're going to have a program from Wednesday the 14 all the way until uh, Sunday the 16 so Sunday the 16 so if you have friends and you have loved one in Paris Belgium a hey, Belgium we're actually almost running up yes. so but we're still in Belgium right now so please inform them and tell them that we are here and uh, the Lord is going to visit the people of God in those specific events and those places where the event is going to take place it's an amazing place and it's amazing amazing so prepare yourself and the Lord is going to do us a lot of good. God bless you. Are you ready? Do you have your Bible with you? And you have um, what that you are watching me with and a book that's your notebook and whatever. Uh, for those that have been following me, <clears throat> it's gonna be it's not gonna be a start, it's just gonna be a continuation. But if you are new to this teaching, I will just ask you to go to our YouTube um, on Prophet Joel, then uh on Prophet Joel, you took her, you are going to see our, all our teaching all there together on the kingdom. So we are going to discuss on the matters of the kingdom because the clarity and the illuminations of the understanding about the matters of the kingdom is what the Lord desires us to understand from now because <clears throat> it is to prepare us for the manifestation of that which the Lord desires to do in these generations. Mm -hmm. To take us to the next level and to empower us and to impact us to the next level to god be all the glory so please can we start reading the scripture from the book of uh, matthew and then we'll go to the book of genesis so matthew chapter 6 from the verse 9 and then we we'll go to uh, genesis chapter 1 genesis chapter 1 thank you lord Be yeah. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 9 yeah. <clears throat> and the word of God says I'm mm -hmm. reading the New King James Version mm -hmm. in this manner mm -hmm. therefore pray mm -hmm. our Father in heaven the Bible says in this manner therefore let us pray mm -hmm. our Father in heaven the Bible said Jesus say our Father in heaven he say our Father in heaven uh -huh. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Let, let's interrupt a bit here. I'm seeing Betty B. I'm seeing Pastor Israel Roberts Borali. Thank you, my brother. How are you doing? <laughs> you even see, I have to interrupt the live a bit just to greet you. <laughs> God bless you. Good to see you here, my brother. God bless you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, yeah. Our Father in heaven. Our Father in heaven. <clears throat> Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Jesus started by saying, Your kingdom. Your kingdom come. Mm -hmm. Your will be done. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. In this prayer, we can see that Jesus Christ was not just praying but he was making an invocation he was making a demand and he was invoking the manifestation of a particular kingdom in that which he is from in that which he dominates in that which he hates the manifestation of that kingdom he say our father who is in heaven is addressing a very powerful spiritual entity who dominate the system in the spiritual realm which I brought you in the understanding of the three manifestations of the kingdom. And I told you the kingdom of God is not the kingdom of heaven. And though the kingdom of heaven is back from the kingdom of God. And I told you that the kingdom of God is an invisible kingdom. 
that has birthed the manifestation of the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom of heaven, the mandate of the kingdom of God, which is the invisible kingdom of God, is to bring the continuation of the kingdom of heavens to control the system of the earth. So in another word, the earth to become one with the heaven and the heaven to become one with the earth. So that all kingdom and all authority shall be given to the person who is called the Christ. And until then, the book of 1 Corinthians tells us, chapter 15, that the last enemy that Jesus Christ will crush shall be called death. And the Bible says, from then, then Jesus Christ shall render all authority, domination, and power back to God the Father. Are we together? And then the Bible says, from there, God the Father shall reign in all, and it shall be in all, and it shall be in everything. And we shall be together with him in that place of glory. And here he's saying, let your kingdom come. Is calling the manifestation of that kingdom, of that which is from, and that which is presence. He said, let your kingdom come. So in another word, where Jesus Christ was making this sentence, where he was making this prayer, the kingdom of God was not at work, and the kingdom of God was not present. But in his prayer, is opening a door, is opening a connectivity to invoke the manifestation of the presence of the kingdom of that which is from, of that which is operating him, in order for him to see the full manifestation of the perfect will of God concerning him, the number one thing that he had to do, he has to bring and to reinforce the manifestation of the kingdom of God in any place where he is positioned. And therefore he made that statement, he said, let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. So in another word, I'm imposing I am calling, I am invoking the manifestation of the kingdom on that which I am born, that which I am from. Let it move from the place where it is or let it extend its dominion and its power in the manifestation in the kingdom on the earth. Are you getting me, someone? So in another, I'm bringing the extension of the perfect will of God to bring the earth to become one with heaven and the heaven to become one with the earth by the intention of the invisible kingdom, which is the kingdom of God. So let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. So I am inviting the kingdom. I am the portal that is connecting with the manifestation of the kingdom and the extension of the manifestation of the kingdom. I am the portal that is attracting the manifestation of the kingdom. That the kingdom of God shall rule and shall manifest in the manifestation of the earth. And that person, it was Jesus Christ instructing us on how we can invoke and we can engage the connectivities to bring the manifestation of the kingdom of God in the world that we are living, in the workplace where we are positioned, in our families, in our marriages, in our finances, in our health. And in all that concerns us, there is always a connectivity of a rulership of the kingdom. Let me make this statement. If your kingdom, in that which you confess your God, isn't ruling over you, just be aware there is another kingdom that is ruling over you. If where you are working, if the kingdom of God is not at work, if where you are doing business, if the kingdom of God is not at work, just be aware the other kingdom is at work to control, to impose its laws over your system, over your dealing, and over all that you are doing. So in another way, you are subjected in the influence of the kingdom of that which has been controlling the system in that place. And therefore, the ability of Jesus Christ to call for the kingdom of God is an hour, is intercepting the manifestation, the continuity, the working of the kingdom that was at work already, intercepting it or interfering with the kingdom that was at work before him or in the place and imposing the manifestation of the kingdom of God and extending the purpose and the thoughts of God to rule in the system where he is. So this is me, this means that as long as I am in this place, as long as I have entered in this place, as long as I have possessed this territory, this kingdom that I am from, 
is called to dominate this atmosphere and the other kingdom is not allowed to penetrate or to do any other thing. So he imposed and he superimposed by authority to take control the system of the kingdom wherever where he is. And he said, this is how you should pray. It doesn't mean that we're going to pray our Father who is in heaven. Let your, uh, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. No, it's not that. He's teaching us in the ability on how someone can be so connected to the manifestation and to bring the manifestation of the kingdom in any area and any aspect of life that God has called each one of us to manifest. Be it you in the political arena, you are in the business uh, industry, you are in the media, you are in any place. Your duty is to be a portal for the manifestation of the kingdom of God to rule in the system in the place where God has called you. And it is not a matter of begging, neither a matter to ask, but it, it is a matter to bring in power and dominion to superimpose the manifestation of the kingdom of God in the place where God has signed to you to operate and where he has called you to manifest in that place. Can we just read again? Mm -hmm. Our Father in heaven, yes. hallowed be your name. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. And the Bible says your will be done. On earth. On earth. You can see that on earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. On earth. As it is in heaven. On earth. As it is in heaven. So the earth is already late. The earth is already in delay in the extension of the manifestation of the kingdom of God. And therefore, I impose by divine authority the manifestation of the kingdom of God in my presence world as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Let's read Genesis chapter 1. From the verse 26. Maybe we can do King James. Maybe we can do King James. Can I do New King James? Uh, yeah, as long as it's reading Dominion. Mm -hmm. I am reading Genesis chapter 1 mm -hmm. from verses 26. Mm -hmm. Then God said, let us make man in our image. Now watch us. The Bible says, God said, let us make man in our image. According to our likeness. The Bible says, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion mm -hmm. over the fish of the sea. The Bible says, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Over the birds of the air. Of the birds of the air. And over <clears throat> the cattle. And over the cattle. And over all the earth. And over all the earth. Mm -hmm. And over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. And over every creep of things that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. So God created man in his own image. But the agenda was not creation. The agenda was to make man. Did you get that one? The Bible says he created. But when it got to man on the sixth day, the Bible says God said, let us make. Whatever you make is not created. It's just birth of that which was already at work. He said, let us make man in our image. So in another word, drawn, picked from him, drawn out of him, and he made the system of man. Let's go. So God created man in his own image. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Yes. Male and female, he yes. created them. Mm -hmm. Then God blessed them. Now look at the blessing. Now hear the blessing. And God said to them. Now let's hear what God said. Be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion now over that's the, the place of the sea. Take that lolly. He said, have dominion. Say with me, have dominion. Have dominion. Say it again, have dominion. Have dominion. And he said, have dominion where? Over the fish of the sea. Over the fish of the sea. Over the birds of the air. Of the birds of the air. And over every living thing that moves and on the earth. And over every living things moving in the earth. Stop there. From the book of Genesis, we can see already the manifestation of the mandate of dominion. The Lord knowing that when he made man, he knew that for men to see the manifestation 
of that which he mandated men to fulfill on the earth, men had to have the manifestation of dominion on the earth. And therefore, after creating men, the likeness of men to manifest, the likeness of men to be like God, it has to manifest by the manifestation of dominion. In that dominion, so that means there is the kingdom manifestation in man. How did, how did this happen? He said to the man, he said, be fruitful and have dominion. Dominion over the sea, dominion over the birds in the air, and dominion over every creep of things. In here already we can see the three systems of the manifestation of the kingdom that is at work on the earth. And God has mandated men to dominate over the three systems of the kingdom that was at work in the earth. In the universe, let me say. He said to the man, he said, have dominion, number one, over the sea. Have dominion over the air and have dominion over the, every people of things. The number one kingdom here we can see is the kingdom of the sea. The number two kingdom here we can see the kingdom of hell. And number three is the kingdom of the earth. Let's concentrate on the kingdom of the hair. Let's go in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2. So we have the kingdom of the sea, we have the kingdom of the hair, and we have the kingdom of the earth. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2 and it says, mm -hmm. In which you once walked, According to the course of this world, in which we are, we, you did what? In which you once walked. You once walked. He's talking about you once walked. You walked in this. Uh huh. According to the course of this world. According to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. According to the prince of the powers of the hair. The powers of the hair. So, in another word, there is a kingdom of the hair. Yes. Are we together, people of God? There is the kingdom of the hair. And the kingdom of hair, here Paul is talking about, they are responsible of all immoral and all misleading of the people. So there is a kingdom that which your eyes cannot see, but it is in the earth. It is in this universe. But your eyes can see, your understanding cannot perceive, but they are at work and they are called the prince of the air. Read it again. Mm -hmm. In which you once walked according to the course of this world. So you walked according to the course. So that means they have the responsibility of the course of this world. They are the one that teaches the course of immorality in the world. The kingdom of the hair. They control the system of the understanding of man. Mm -hmm. According to the prince of the power of the air. According to the prince of the powers. So they have power. They operate with the dimension of powers. That's why sometimes you can enter into a nation and you're encountering powers. You understand? Yes. You go to a different nation, they think in a different way. Mm. You go to another nation, they speak in a different way. Yes. They are manipulated in a certain way. That means there are powers at work in that nation. Yes. And those powers as at work, they operate from the kingdom of the hair. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's read. The spirit who now works mm. in the sons of disobedience. The Bible says now the spirit. So that means now they have their seed that have entered. They position their seed in the children of disobedience. In another word, the sons of Belial. They call them the sons of Belial. Men that are disobedient to the ways of God. Mm -hmm. Among whom also mm. we all once conducted ourselves mm -hmm. in the lusts of our flesh. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh mm. and of the mind mm. and were by nature children of wrath mm. just as the others. So in another word, you and I also were part of the manifestation of this seed. So that means before us to encounter Christ, before us to announce that we belong to Jesus Christ, we are part of the manifestation of the powers of the hair. They control your belief system. They control what you believe. They control what you speak. They control what you watch. They control how you do things because they are the powers. And since they are the powers, they dominate your belief system and they dominate what is your decisions. But I pray for you today that by these three days, the Lord shall redeem you and you shall be totally delivered from the powers of evil in the name of Jesus. Amen. No wonder the Bible said that he has translated us. 
He, the Lord, He has translated us from the powers. Now you can see the word power there. The Lord Jesus translated us. It is in Colossian. He said He has translated us from the powers of darkness into the kingdom. You see that? Into the kingdom of His Son Jesus. Into the kingdom of His Son Jesus. So the redemption of a child of God always has to do and has always to do with the translation that you have picked from the manifestation of the influence of the powers of darkness into the kingdom of his son Jesus, the son of the living God. Now, let us dig a little bit, a little bit deeper. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Let's read that. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and the rest shall be given unto you. And I remember I told you that you can never seek the kingdom unless you seek first who is the king in the kingdom. And I told you that this king, you and I, we cannot see him because he made a law. He said, no man can see me and anyone that shall see me shall die. Or no, no man can see me and let, if you see me, you shall disappear or you shall die. And the Bible said that Moses one day in prayer in the mountain, he said to God, show me your face. That surely if I have favor in your eyes, let me see your face. And the Lord said to Moses, say, Moses, no man can see my face and leave. But... I show mercy to whom I desire to show mercy. I show grace to whom I desire to show grace. And I pray for you that the mercy of the Lord shall see you through in this life. That the Lord shall show you mercy and compassion in this life. And he shall deliver you and set you free from the traps and the snares of the enemy. Say with me a big amen in Jesus' amen. name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. And the Bible says when God came and visited Moses. And the Bible says God showed to Moses his back. And Moses, Moses saw the back of God. And he saw the glory of God. And the Bible said, God walked by and he saw the mercy of the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, how can we seek a kingdom of the king who is not allowed to be seen? I've told you that the kingdom of God made the heavens. And yet the heaven cannot see the kingdom that made it. Unless only the Bible said, Jesus said in the book of John, uh, John, in the book of John, he said, No man has seen the Father, but the one that lives in intimacy with the Father, who is the Son of God, his face has been revealed unto him. So that means no angel has seen God, no archangel has seen God, no Gabriel who said to Zechariah, I dwell in the very presence of God, has not seen the face of God. No seraphim has seen the face of God. No one has ever seen the face of God. But Jesus revealed to us is the only man that the face of God was revealed unto me. Come on, are you here with me? Is the only man that the face of God has been revealed to him. And since God is telling us, seek if us the kingdom of God, and we cannot seek the king, and yet we are seeking his kingdom. And God saw that it is impossible for this man to found the kingdom. Because from the book of Genesis until now, men have been seeking the kingdom until Jesus Christ came. And he said, this is the message that has been sent to, to preach. The kingdom of God has come near you. So this man brought the kingdom. The kingdom that Zechariah has been looking for. Isaiah has been looking for, or the prophet of the Old Testament has been looking for, Jesus Christ brought it to man by preaching the gospel after receiving the Holy Ghost. And then, by mistake, while Jesus Christ was by, with his uh, disciple, Philip made a mistake. While Jesus Christ was speaking about this revelation that no man has seen the Father unless the Son who dwell in intimacy. And then Philip made a mistake. He said, please show us the Father. And the Bible said, Jesus Christ actually replied, not, not, not in happiness. He said, all this time, Philip, I've been with you. You want to tell me that you have not seen the face of God. And he said, whomsoever sees me, sees God. Sees the face of God. So here, since the Father, Karusima anto vili anto kavia, brendi koskima ante biriase, since the father who is the master of the kingdom the invisible kingdom cannot be seen cannot be touched cannot be crossed cannot be approached there is a man who appeared to us who said to us is the way that he has seen him there is no religion entity who has ever come up who said that i know the father have seen the father there is no religious person there is no anybody, no president, no king, no prince, 
know anybody in the spiritual, in the physical, who can prove to us that they have ever seen the Father. But Jesus Christ, who came and he said, I have seen him. So in another word, he knows where he dwell. He knows where he is. He knows how he look like. And he knows the desire of him. Are we together? And he said to Philip, he said, as you see me, that's me you see him. If you encounter me, you encounter him. We are one. He opened up himself to me. He gave me the allowance. He made me dwell in him. And therefore, I stand here saying, nobody can go to the Father unless he passes through me. And he made this strong statement. He said, I am the way, not a way. I am the way. I am the way. I am the way that led to the Father. I am the way. If I stand today and I say that I am the way, in another word, there is no other way. But if I say that I am a way, in another word, that there is different kind of way that anybody can take. But if I say that I am the way, so that means it doesn't matter who or what, whatever what they are doing, whatever that they are saying, they cannot reach you to the Father. Today there is a preaching. There is a grace preaching that is going today in America, in the Western, and all over. People are saying that Jesus is just one of the way that lead them to the Father. As people say that all way lead to Rome. And that is the preaching now today. The religious people are bringing all over, saying that, oh, now anybody can reach out to the Father. Anyone can reach out to the Father. Jesus was just a particular way. It is a lie from the pit of hell. Jesus say is not a way. He said, I am the way. Come on, people of God. Are you here with me? Are you here with me? Give me a, a clap for Jesus Christ, wherever you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, I am the way that leadeth not to Gabriel or Michael. He said, I am the way that leadeth to the Father. He said, anybody who came before me and everybody who came before me, they use the window, not the door, because I am the door. I am the door. It's like I'm trying to prove yourself that I know the president. I've seen the president. And I'm coming to tell you, people are not listening. He said, no. The other ministers, I know, he can bring me to the president. You understand? Oh, by the way, I'm friend with the governor. I know I can get to the president. But he said, no, the president has given me the mandate. Whomsoever who desire to see him has to pass through me. You know, if I'm making sense to you. I have the number. I have the password to enter in his door. I've seen his face and has revealed his face to me. And therefore, I will come with this statement. I am the way. Not a way. I am the way that will lead everyone to the president. And that's why the Bible said, to whomsoever believed in his name, to whomsoever confessed in his hands that Jesus Christ is Lord, he shall be saved. And he shall be delivered from what? The destructions. The evil that has been prepared by God the Father, to whomsoever shall not believe, shall be condemned and shall be destroyed. But to us that have believed, we have confirmed and we have affirmed by faith that Jesus Christ is the way and not a way. And yet some other religions, they are using other ways to reach to the Father. For example, the Kabbalist. You, I, I believe you know them. The Kabbalists. If you don't know them, you just you just read it. It is in the Bible as well. Uh, the Kabbalists, the the, the 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 camping that they used to do in the month of September, the seventh month of the Jews, they will camp, uh, which came from Moses. They will camp in the tents and all that, and then to celebrate this party and all that, and then today it's turned into yes, they have the way. They will teach you sometimes there is a way that leads to Father. That Jesus is just one of the way. But there is another way. If you do this, if you do that, you get to the Father. There are some people whereby in occultism, they will lie to them. Some people in the powers of darkness, they will lie to them. Yeah, Kabbalist. Anyway, yeah. They will lie to them. You know, that's, oh, now Jesus Christ is just a way. You can do this and do that. You get to the Father. Oh, some even some religious places and some big churches, they will tell you that, yes, Jesus, I hear some, one of the... Jun not the journalist, this uh, show presenter uh, in America. I don't want to mention the name. One day she made also that statement that, yes, Jesus is just a way 
that lead to the Father, but it's not the way, the only way. Why? If they want to play democracy, they want to play this generation things that people is moving around, uh, making it like today in the world that people are just thinking the Western they are thinking things should be. Listen, Jesus Christ is the way. They don't want this kind. They are thinking it is dictatoring that they are dictatoring them that Jesus Christ is the only way. He's the only way. Like it or not, before you to come here, before you to come here, is the way, and it shall always be the way. Shout the big amen wherever you are. So, if Jesus Christ, you made a confession according to Romans chapter 10, verse 10, that if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that he died and he rose from the dead triumphant on the third day, you shall be saved. Because the Bible says in John chapter 3 that the Father did not send his son to condemn the world, but to whomsoever believe in him, they shall not be condemned, but they shall have life in abundance. Life in abundance. So in another word, they see the kingdom. They have seen the kingdom. And they are called to enter in the kingdom. By what? Keeping their faith. Remaining in the faith and dwelling in the faith. For Jesus Christ is the way. Are we together? Yes. So since Jesus Christ is the way, can we read not John chapter 17? Since Jesus Christ is the way, you and I, we have affirmed, we have confirmed, and we have believed. Please don't write the name of that woman. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, we know her. <laughs> Jesus Christ is the way. Period. Thank you. Mm -hmm. John chapter mm. 17. I'll read from verse 1. Verse 1, yes. Jesus spoke these words. Mm. Lifted up his eyes to heaven and said. Now hear the words of Jesus. Father. Father. The hour has come. I love the way Jesus used to start his prayer. Always, Father. Believing is your Father. Yes. Believe is your Father. That is true. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Glorify your son. Glorify your son. That your son also may glorify you. That your son also may glorify you. As you have given him authority over all flesh. In another word, dominion over all flesh. Child of God, in these three days I stretch my hands. May you have dominion over all flesh. Yes. Dominion over all flesh mean yes. in nations, yes. kingdoms. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Kingdoms and places shall bow in the dominion power of Christ inside of us. Amen. For the Bible says, Christ in us is the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. Let's go. As you have given him authority over all flesh, yes, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given he him. He shall give eternal life to as many that he that you have given that you have given him this scripture is so powerful very very powerful mm -hmm. and this is eternal life now let's see what is eternal life some of you yeah. think eternal life is just you to go to heaven let's learn what is eternal life mm -hmm. that they may know you that they may know you so in another word the number one things that causes eternal life is this one knowing yes. knowing so that means lack of knowledge is lack of eternal life so lack of knowledge of who Christ is, is lack of eternal life to the kingdom of God. Remember, the kingdom of God is an eternal kingdom that has bought the heaven and now is designed to control the whole earth. You and I, we are dwelling in the earth, which is a deadly earth. Looking to be an eternal earth. And those who shall be an eternal earth must dwell in the kingdom of eternity, which is the kingdom of God. Now he's telling us, for us to be eternal, we must know. Know who? Number one. That they may know you. That they may know you. The only true God. The only true God. And Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ. Whom you have sent. Whom you have sent. Number one. Know the Father. The only true God. The only true God, which is the Father of heaven. The Papa God. I call him the Papa God. The Father in heaven. Child of God. Do you know God in the heaven? Do you know the Father in heaven? Today, people are trying to know prophets. Today, there is a teaching. People are learning to know how to prophesy. I mean, let me make this statement clearly. Anyone who joined prophetic school in order to learn how to prophesy or to, res or to, to do this, it's a misleading. Because prophecy is the working of the Spirit. Amen. Not the learning of human. Maybe when you join the prophetic school, it's simply sometimes to sharpen. 
to direct, as Paul say, one prophesy, another one prophesy, or one speaking tongue, another one interpret. It's just to bring an understanding, to sharpen our understanding. But you can't join a prophetic school for you to receive the ability to prophesy. Unless, maybe the Lord can direct that. But what I'm telling you, this prophecy comes by the Spirit. It is the working of the Spirit of wisdom and of knowledge. Do you know the Father for yourself? Do you know the Father for yourself? Lie not to yourself that eternity is waiting for you and yet you know not the Father. And you are trying to know Jesus Christ. But when we talk about prophecy, you know all prophecies. When we talk about people, you know all people. When we talk about those that are fallen and raped, you know all the story. When we talk about churches, you know all churches, all story of churches. But do you know the Father? Who is the Father? No wonder Philip said, reveal to us who is the Father. Because the moment we know Him, we are eternal. We remain eternal. You know Facebook, but you don't know the face of God. You know everybody's stories, but you don't know the story of your God. Show us the Father. Moses cried, show me your face. Everyone who was intensively looking for the face of the Father made an impact. This is the meaning of seeking the kingdom. He said, seek my face. Seek my face. And Jesus came and he said, Seek and you shall found. Knock and it shall be opened. Ask and it shall be given. Amen. What do you know? Who do you know? Lord, I desire to know the Father. But how can I know the Father if knowing Jesus Christ is a problem? Now imagine how many Christians believed this show presenter woman because of her money, because of her influence. Oh yeah, today just have money. Today show a picture, you're in the private jet. Everyone will follow you. Everyone will think you have God. Because riches has become a lie to us. That funding riches is funding God. But do you know the Father for yourself, child of God? Why do you wait every Sunday to know the Father? Anyone who seek does not seek in a day, only in a week. You are lying to yourself. Anything precious to yourself, you seek it every day. Amen. Every day and every moment. The reason why people seek money every day because they need it every day. But a child of God who seek God only on Sunday, who read his Bible only on Sunday, and he's pretending and lying to himself that eternal life is waiting for him, is lying to himself. It's a lie from the pit of hell. And the excuses is that I've been busy. Which busy of the kingdom or busyness of the kingdom have you been doing? We are in a daily search. Daily search. And those who found, they keep it. They guard it to themselves. My question to myself every day, how much have I known of the Father today? Because the more I've known Him today, I've added a part of eternal life in me. My spirit is rejoicing. is living life. Let me do it again. That's a very powerful thing. Mm. And this is eternal life. And this is eternal life. Jesus Christ was straight like this. He said, this is eternal life. That they may know you. That they may know you. The only true God. The only true God. So that means they are other false God. <laughs> like some people, they will mix Muslim 
prayer, like what the Indian does. They do that. They mix. Uh, let me try your God. I put also my, my prayer. I try your God. I try your gods. Whatever will work, let it be so. It's a danger. It's very dangerous. Like someone who right now is watching me. You don't know. You are desperate. You don't know which now, which God is true. You are not founded in true Christianity. Sometimes even in your heart, you doubt yourself really. Is Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ really God? Is he really Lord? I mean, you are uncertain about your truth. You are not stable. And the Bible says such persons should not think to receive anything from God. Nothing. Are you uncertain about your belief about God? Are you uncertain about your confession about who is God? Jesus Christ is Lord. Is the way. Truth and the life. He's the kingdom. He said the kingdom has come near you. He is the kingdom. What a way. What a way of speak, of speaking. What a way of being. I will shout it all over the world. I will tell it all over the world. Such truth, such revelation. I mean, it is a burning fire. You cannot handle it anymore. It's beyond you now. I want to tell it to everybody. And we want that those who found this truth, they can keep quiet. They, have, they tell the story everywhere. That Jesus Christ is Lord. He's the kingdom. Because they found the truth. That's what the Bible says. When they were baptized, they went everywhere. Telling everybody about the kingdom of God. Because they found the kingdom. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for this. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Son of God. Just open your mouth wherever you are. For Sakatola Bretese. Corra basata balabria manda balase. Corra basse che volo sianta la bria balase. Pele bossa prakata libre de bese. Parra basse che te le prese. Corra basse che te. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's read it again as we close. Mm -hmm. And mm. Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I will start um, verse 3 again. Mm -hmm. And this is eternal life. And this is eternal life. That they may know you. That they may know you. Like right now, by listening to me, this message already is eternity that has entered. You feel fire in your heart. You feel a desire to know the Father. That means this is the message of the King. We are not here to steal the attention of man, which was supposed to be to God and giving it to man. Men today are stealing the attention of the glory of God. Instead of the Bible said, turn your eyes to Jesus, the maker, the perfecter, and the finisher of our faith. As much I can prophesy, as much I can pray for the sick. As much I can hear the voice of angels. As much I can have billions, mighty billions in my account. If it's not knowing the Father and giving attention back to God, it's all in vain, all sinking sun. It's all sinking sun. I can have multitude of members, church members, Numbers and numbers of church members. Millions of them and thousands. 
but all attention is given to me it's all sinking sir i'm stealing the kingdom i'm stealing the attention that is supposed to be given to the kingdom that means i am disobeying and rebelling against the mission sent to me to return men to the eyes of the kingdom the invisible kingdom that has bought the kingdom of heaven so in another word god might not act straight away but he is very disappointed he hopes on us he hopes on you that's why he brought the gospel to you so that you can redirect the eyes of men back to him so that you can redirect the attention of men back to him by the selfishness the ego the tastiness of power has made us to and has made man to take away the glory but i pray from today men shall not drag and shall not steal again the glory of god but i pray wherever you are the lord shall use you to bring the manifestation of his glory that when men sees you they see the glory of god no wonder Paul said, I am simply a servant. I love that scripture. It is in 1 Corinthians. I think chapter 4. Why am I telling them? I mean, me and Apollos. Jesus, today I was meditating. The Lord told me to speak this. He, he said, it has become a demonic thing. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Let's let discuss that a bit about that. Yeah. In verse 1. I'll read 1 Corinthians chapter 4 from verses 1. Mm. Let a man so consider us as servants of Christ. There it is. Let what? Let a man. Let a man. So consider us. You also that are watching me, consider me. Consider all preachers. No billionaires. No millionaires. Not mighty men, though they are mighty by God's grace. He's the mighty one who makes mighty men. Mm -hmm. Let a man so consider us. But consider us what? what? As servants of as Christ. As servants of Christ. Remain yes. in that place. Servant of Christ. We are not famous. We are not celebrities. We are not celebrities. Like today, what we are making of it. Celebrities. Consider us as servants of the Most High God. Servants. A servant is humble. A servant is very humble. Because you know there is a master after me. Go. Mm -hmm. And stewards. And stewards. Of the mysteries of God. Of the mystery of God. So in another word, the hidden matters of God. He entrusted us with the secret of his kingdom. We are accountable. Accountable. Please, this message should be sent to everybody. Please send it to you. If you could cut it, cut it and, and reproduce it to your own way. Just let this be sent everywhere. Mm-hmm. Moreover, Moreover, it is required. It is required in stewards. In steward that one be found faithful. That one be found faithful because this is what qualifies a servant's faithfulness. Faithfulness with the mandate. Faithfulness with the calling. No matter the complication, faithfulness. No matter the situation, faithfulness. That means no matter the place where the Lord has positioned you in serving Him. In a particular church, faithfulness. Like today, people are wavering in every place. They are moving like waves. A small complication in a particular local church. They, are, they, they, they have to make a big statement. They have to make. They have to complete. They have to bring. They have to bring. They, they, people are no longer kingdom mind, but they become church mind. But the understanding of the kingdom will make us realize that it's not about this church, that church, this church, that church, but it is about the establishment of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Let's go. 
but with me but with me it is a very small thing it is a very small thing that i should be judged by you as even giving them the allowance or by a human court mm -hmm. in fact i do not even judge myself in fact i don't even judge myself for i know of nothing against myself i know nothing yes yet i am not justified by this mm -hmm. but he who judges me is the lord is the lord <laughs> mm -hmm. therefore judge nothing before the time yes until the lord comes who will both bring to light the hidden things of darkness mm -hmm. and reveal the counsels of the hearts mm -hmm. then each one's praise will come from god hallelujah mm -hmm. now these things brethren mm. i have figuratively transferred to myself mm. and apollos for your sex mm. that you may learn in us not to think beyond what is written don't think beyond that which is written let's go mm -hmm. that none of you may be puffed up on behalf of one against the other listen to that for who makes you differ from another uh -huh. and what do you have that you did not receive what do you have that you did not receive yes now, if you did indeed receive mm. it why do you boast as if you had not received it come on you are already full you are already rich. Uh -huh. You have reigned as kings without us. Uh -huh. And indeed, I could wish you did reign, mm. that we also might reign with you. Okay. For I think that God has displayed us, mm. the apostles, last as men condemned to death. Oh my. For we have been made a spectacle to the world, mm. both to angels and to men. Both to angels and to men. So that means they are watching us. They are watching us. Mm -hmm. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak. Stop there. That's very powerful. Oh my goodness. Anyway, chapter 3. Let's read from verse 18. Now you can see how the gospel has been contaminated. The gospel has been intoxicated. Today even you can be gay. And then they are telling you it's okay. You, you've been heavens. And yet you are calling to repentance. Today you can be a lesbian. You are doing things. And then he said it's okay. Uh, heaven is for you. God will forgive you and do things. And, I mean, these are the antichrist message that has entered the message of the kingdom. And yet the message is repent for the kingdom of God has come near you. And then they have transformed the message of the grace into something else. Whereby you can just do any other things. And yet the kingdom of God is crucial. The kingdom of God is holy because he's a holy God. And he has demanded us to be in a certain way for us to see the manifestation of his face in the land of the living. Let's finish by that. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Verse 18. From verse 18. Mm. And it reads, mm. let no one deceive himself. The Bible says, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you seems to be wise in this age. If anyone among you seems to be wise. Mm -hmm. Let him become a fool that he may become wise. Let's go. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Uh -huh. For it is written. Yes. He catches the wise in their own craftiness. Okay. And again, mm. the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, mm. that they are fertile. Mm -hmm. Therefore, let no one boast in men. The Bible says, let no man boast in men. This is what the Lord was dealing with me today. Let no man boast in men. My spiritual father. <laughs> My spiritual father is powerful more than your spiritual father. <laughs> you know, my spiritual father prophesied deeper than your spiritual father. Boasting in men. And yet, boasting in Christ is the key. I honor the ability of the spiritual fathers. But you are not mandated to boast on spiritual father. But boast in Christ. He is alone powerful. Men are now religiously glorifying spiritual fathers. Men are now even scared to join some prayers. Because the spiritual father will land on them. Spiritual fathers today have become imprisonment. 
operations i'm speaking this because this is very very something very very important some have been abused by this some have been destroyed by this misled by this fears have entered in the heart of man why by the day your spiritual father leaves you that the day you are gone Therefore, the eyes of men are, and the attention of men are no longer to Christ, but is given unto men. Fear. But it is redirect men back to the kingdom. Know the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ. Know the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ. Let's close, madam. Mm -hmm. Therefore, let no one boast in men. Let no one boast in men. For all things are yours. For all things are yours. Whether Paul or Apollos. Whether Paul or, or Apollos, Apollos, whether your your mentor, whether your 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 spiritual powerful father, mother, uh -huh. or the world or life, or the world or life or death. Or things present. Or things present. Or things to come. Or things to come. All are yours. All are yours. And you are Christ. And you are Christ. Remember. And Christ is God. And Christ is God. Remember the theme of our here. And Christ is God. Trust in God. If you don't have this truth, you'll be traveling nation to nation. Going, traveling, going from meeting to meeting, which is important. And yet, knowing the Father, knowing the Son, is the key. And let me tell you something. When a man God has bring next to you, if a man has the kingdom in him, when God brings a man who has God in him, believe in that man. Believe in the gospel that he has preached to you. Believe in the vision and the revelation that he has given to you. The revelation that has given to you, if you master it, you will grow in the manifestation of the kingdom and we shall glorify the Messiah. Amen. But if you don't believe in the very man that God has given you, I'm telling you, any other rest, you also not believe. And this is the reason why men are moving to fathers to fathers, mentors to mentors, places to places in search of particular things, maybe prophecy, maybe an impartation of something. But there is no a glorious impartation until the revelation given to you by that man is not yet received. So receive the revelations. Be impacted by the revelation of a spiritual father to reveal to you the light of the kingdom. Then dwell in it as what was the case of Paul. Ananias who impacted to him with the deep knowledge of the kingdom. We, throughout the scripture, we could, not, we could no longer again see Ananias continue with Paul. So in another word, the impartation of the teaching and the revelation that Paul received to Ananias on his way to Damascus when his eyes all went blind because he saw the, the presence of Jesus Christ. There we can see that he was taught in Damascus and then he moved out, out of Damascus and from there we never heard again from him. So in another word, Paul grew in understanding in that very teaching he received from his father in the Lord who led him to Christ. And he said even in his statement, he said, Since the day I was born again, I never bothered myself to go to Jerusalem to seek for apostles. But I only seek to meet Peter and to meet James, which was the brother of Jesus. And he said the rest, it was not my case. I focus to know the kingdom. I focus to know the father. I focus to know Jesus. And look at Paul today. Everybody is reading about Paul. So there is a greater understanding and a depth that we need to grab. It is for us to return in the knowledge of the kingdom of God. In the knowledge to know the king who is behind the kingdom. Which is the father and knowing his son Jesus Christ. And the rest is coming to back us up. So that we may grow in the manifestation of the head who is Jesus Christ. By accepting the knowledge and the revelation that is coming from them. But not glorifying in that which is happening today. Through religious ways. These matters of spiritual fathers. These matters of mentors. But to utilize it as a way to perform and to edify. And to bring maturity in the understanding of the believers. So that we may grow in the understanding of the head who is Jesus Christ. 
Today, a Christian can just live a life anyhow. Be in life just anyhow. And then saying that my spiritual father will cover me. Today, a Christian can just live without prayer. And he said, the anointing of my spiritual father shall cover me. And it's, I'm telling you, it's happening. So they are relying on an, in, in, in a different way of understanding. And then some prophets, some pastors, they see it as a way to keep members. They see it as a way to protect their members. If my members are worshipping me this way, or giving me attention in this way, they won't go anywhere. They will not go anywhere because they are preparing for your hell. They are preparing for you to go to the pit of hell. But to a man who is wise, he will redirect the eyes of man back to Jesus. Hebrew chapter 12 verse 2. Look unto Jesus. Look unto Jesus. Look unto Jesus. The finisher and the perfecter for our faith. Child of God, as much you have powerful covering, as much you have powerful mentors, there is only one God who is the name of Jesus Christ. When we bow to him, he shall show us the way and he shall lead us to the way of righteousness. Today was the first day. I believe you have been blessed by this message. Today is the day that we place the foundations for us to return to the proper manifestation of the kingdom of God. To know the Father and to know the Son who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Please, you'll allow me. I don't know if this is what I'm seeing here. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is done. It is done. Let's glorify the name of Jesus Christ wherever you are. Let's glorify the name of Jesus Christ wherever you are. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, precious Lord Jesus. Just begin to thank him wherever you are. Thank him wherever you are. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit of God. Zanta balabria ma sekete lebrem dese. Bali prakose bretese. Whatever you are, just lift your hands and begin to thank him. Just lift your hands. Farupo sekete lebrete bede 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 zanta labria base. Embrete ke zanta labala base. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Shata barata kasata labria base. Rapa Santa Bala Bria Basanta Bala Basian Telebreze Santa Bala Catola Bria Basanta Bala Dia Soto Cobo Rabase Zimbala Brete Sianta Bala Zekete Menebedebeze Zianda Bala Brata Catamanda Bala Zianta Bala Bala Via Soto Cabalaze Rebe Sende Bala Catola Bria Basende Beleze Sapara Catala Bria Basanta Bala Balaze Zende bala kata bala bria basanta bala basianta la breteze. Hela brata santa bala zianta bala balaze. Reba santa bala kata librato sende bele 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 beze. Zoto baka prata zianta la bria ma santa bala bria ma katula bria mandaze. Raba sende bele bria basanta bala katula bria baze. Rete ke zianta bala zianta bala zianta la katola bria mazi. Embrete ke zianta bala bria basanta bala katola bria mazi. Zete magazin. Let your kingdom come. That's our prayer today. Let your kingdom come. Child of God, is there any kingdom that has been dominating you? Tomorrow we are going to touch on the three kingdom. Is there any kingdom that has been dominating you? Is any kingdom that has been influencing you, bringing fear to you, frustration to you, or complication to you? I'm hereby to, to declare over you the kingdom of God has come in your life. And you shall be a portal of invoking and attracting the kingdom of God. We are entering to the sixth month of the year 2024, in the next few hours. Is the half parts of the year that we are entering of 2024 is a time whereby you are going to dedicate it to see the supernatural God interventions. 
to invoke the manifestation of the kingdom of God. If the kingdom of the enemy rule in this past month that you have passed, these six months remaining for this year before it to end, let the kingdom of our God in heaven come to pass. Are you in the political arena? Are you in the business? Are you in the ministry? Are you in the health? Are you in media? Are you in music? You are invoking the kingdom of God. But the key is, is to repent for the kingdom of God has come near you. It is time for you to begin to know the Father and He alone to know and to glorify. Wherever why your attention has been dragged away that you are listening to me right now, whatsoever or whoever took away the attention of your eyes to look up to, right now as you are connecting to me right now, you are returning your eyes to Jesus. Is it alcohol that dragged away your eyes? Is it money? Is it faith? Is it celebrities? What is it that has taken away your eyes from God? You are demanding grace to God right now. Father, you created the eyes of my heart and the eyes of my face. Right now, I demand grace. Arrest the eyes of my heart to you. Arrest the eyes of my face to you. God, be the Lord of these eyes. Take it to you. Whatever that took away the eyes of my heart. Master, they have stolen it. It is not theirs. I belong to you. Return my eyes back to you. Don't just listen to me. But pray this prayer. Demand this grace right now. Return my eyes to you, God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Return the eyes of my heart to you, King of Kings. Yes, continue, continue. Rebe soto komunda ba kabria masete ketele brezi. Rebe seke, return the eyes of your people, Lord, that are connected right now. Restore the eyes of the heart that has been dragged away from your presence. Restore the eyes of those that have been taken away into destruction. As we read that the powers of the hair, the powers of the prince of the hair, that have dragged away the attention, the eyes of the understanding from the eyes of God. Father, we pray that there shall be a restoration, there shall be a reconnection. To the eyes of God, there shall be a reconnection to the perfection of the image of God in their hearts, in their pursuit. I pray right now for my sister. I pray right now for my brother. In the name of Jesus, a heart back to God. 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 Wherever you are right now, I'm praying with you. I'm praying with you. Don't stop it. I'm praying with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the touch of God, the hand of God to come upon you. Right now, the kingdom of God is with you. Is with you as you receive this message. The Lord is there with you. A heart to be restored. No longer in the material things of this world. No longer in the matters of things of this world. But you had to return back to God. You had to look again to Jesus. You had to look again for help from God, not from men. Your help coming from God. Your help coming from God. Let your heart return back to God. Your understanding, your eyes back to God. Back to God. Back to God. Shalabakata libretese. Ura pa Santa Bala Briama Santa Bala Catelebreze Rapa Takata Librende Soto Kamanda Balaze Remesete Keze Ropo Sete Kezianda Balaze Ikatolaze. I'm praying for you. That grace is on you right now. I'm praying for you. I'm interceding also for you. Don't stop it. I'm backing you up in prayer. I'm backing up. I'm backing you up in prayer. In the name of Jesus. Father, whatever that stole my heart from you, whatever things that stole away, my heart from your presence today let my heart be returned back to god let my heart restored back to god in the name of jesus the son of the living god Librende bakuza brete sende beleze rusete kaparudeze embra kasunda balaze breke suta malaze receive it in the name of jesus the son of the living god in jesus precious mighty name let me pray for you now lift your hands wherever you are if you have never made these statements to receive Christ in your life, if you have never made this declaration today, you are watching me live right now or after this live, I urge you to make, to make this prayer with me. 
because to receive the kingdom such by this starts by receiving the life of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Say this prayer, so Lord, I believe in Jesus' name, in the Son of God. I believe in all my heart that he died for me, that he came to give me his life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord in my spirit, in my soul, and in my body. Lord over me all the days of my life until eternity. Thank you, Lord. I'm born again in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. 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 The Lord has visited you and the Lord has touched you. And now I stretch my hand to every man and women that are connected right now. In this new month that we are entering, the month of Jehovah Jireh, as you make the Lord the Lord over your life, He shall Lord over your provision. Satan was loading over your crisis, over the frustrations. He was loading over things that has been happening in your life, but it has come to an end. Your lordship, the lordship that has been governing and that will govern you from today, shall be of Jesus Christ. His kingdom is the kingdom of justice, fairness, peace, and prosperity. I superimpose the government of the presence of the kingdom of Christ. The kingdom of God to come to wherever where you are. You're watching me right now. Home and abroad. To our children. To our homes and families. Marriages, finances. Wherever where you are listening to me right now. Let the special presence of the kingdom of God to envelop you right now. In the name that is above all name, the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God be stretched to you. And to establish the desire to know the Father, the thirst, the anger, to seek and he alone and to find the secret of the kingdom. May the Lord remove the veil of distractions, the veil of unbelief, the veil of resistance out of your hearts. The arrogance and the pride be taken away by the power of Jesus' precious mighty name. But I pray for a heart of humility, which is a great price in the eyes of God. Be granted to you. Be granted to us. The Lord cover you. The Lord show you mercy. The Lord envelop you in your grace. The Lord continue this teaching in your spirits. The Lord cause you to have a victorious life in the manifestation of the kingdom of God. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Have victory. Have dominion. Rule and reign together with Jesus. I bless your works. I bless this new month coming. The six months of the year 2024 i declare clearance of the year 2024 and the rest of this month grace and prosperity be so by the power of the name of jesus christ we bless the rest of this month we bless the rest of this year in the holy ghost we declare peace justice fairness joy and prosperity in the powerful holy name of jesus christ spirit of god have your way we give you all the praise and we thank you for the good news, peace and health and the perfect manifestation of God's grace on every side concerning us that the children of your people are safe and protected. Any attacks that the enemy has orchestrated in the next six months over the children has been aborted and intercepted in the name of Jesus. We declare we superimpose the kingdom of our Lord God and we intercept any agenda that has been conspired and comploted in the secret in the kingdom of darkness to attack our children to attack the children in the this uh, last uh, next page of the year 2024 let that agenda wherever where it came from let it be aborted 
we intercept it by the power of the name of Jesus. We arrest it. Can we just pray this prayer wherever you are for the next few seconds? About any agenda that the enemy has in the next of this phase of the year 2024 to attack children, let it be aborted and be intercepted in the name of Jesus. Let it be arrested and be intercepted by the power of Jesus mighty name. Come on, just pray and clap your hands wherever you are. Intercept it in the name of Jesus. Libreto Santa Balabria ma Santa Baraba Katamalazi. Embrete kusoto kama kato lebrete zé. Embrete kusoto kama ta ibrete sende beleze. Ebrata kaparuto Santa Balazi ataka to la mazé. Ibrete sete bala meke to la brezé. Embreke to o kaparia sete ke to la brezé. Ele to kama te itakuza brate zé. My goodness, thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. As we are praying, watch this. It's like there's a conspiracy that the enemy is preparing to send a... It's like a plague. A plague. Over young babies. Young ch children. To cause a sickness. It's a conspiracy. It's like you want to attack children below the age of two and all down there it's like a sickness in, all, in the children that the enemy is planning to cause over the children we are intercepting that agenda in the name of jesus the same way they plan to cause such a distractions over the grown-up with covid and all that any agenda that the enemy orchestrated to cause complication of our children please don't neglect this prayer intercessors if you're here you're an intercessor it's a prayer that you're supposed to carry it in the in the in your womb in the place of your prayer you are going to intercede and abort this agenda of the enemy that whatever that has been orchestrated to attack children let it don't say that my child is not in those age no there is an attack it can be something it can be somewhere intercept it and abort it on the account of the blood of jesus Arrest it right now. Clap your hands and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Shalama hande bele bria manda bala bazi. Rima santa baria masande bele bria masanta bala bala gazi. Ria masanta ba. Let it be intercepted, 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 intercepted. Oh my God. Libre te mende bala katola bria mazi. Zianda bala baba baba masi ketola bria manda bala zi. Yes, Lord. Bele kato la bria maze. Rima sato, rima sato. Embre te sende bede biasa. Bria sata makato la brize. Ria se. Let it be intercepted, be intercepted, be intercepted, be intercepted. Let the agenda of the enemy be abutted. Let it be abutted. Let it be abutted. We abolish it. On the account of the blood of Jesus, we arrest it. We condemn it in the name of Jesus. Wherever where it came from, let it boom around. Let it be intercepted. We arrest that agenda of the enemy. Whatever that is pursuing to kill and to destroy, be arrested, be aborted, and be intercepted in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. We secure the children. We secure them in the blood of the Lamb. We cover the children in the blood of Jesus. We declare preservation and the protection of God's hands upon the children. In the name of Jesus, of God's people all over the world, we secure them. On the account of the blood of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, we command safetyness in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, preservation in the power of the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord. It is a prayer to carry it all and to continue praying. But whatever that is as a these things they inject, it is what whatever that is as a whatever vaccination that it may be as a new idea in the world. We should intercept it in prayer. Uh, that's which it will that it will it will do with children. We'll have to uh, intercept it in prayer and to block it. That the enemy shall not succeed in any conspiracy that has to do with the babies and the children. But by grace and on the account of the blood of Jesus, as we pray today by faith, we hold that agenda until we depart as a church. In the name that is above. All names, the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Shout a big amen wherever you are. In Jesus' precious name. To God be the glory. Father, we thank you. And we bless your holy name. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now listen to this. From midnight today. Midnight your time.
bitch in America, you're in Europe, you're in Africa, you're in Middle East, in the Asia. You're going to do this from midnight your time. We are entering the next phase of 2024. Midnight, all the way of midnight, midnight. You can even take it until Sunday. We are going to raise sacrifice unto God sacrifice unto God a sacrifice of a lifting of a banner of victory for the next phase of the six months of the year 2024 it's an instruction I've just seen it right now as we are praying so we're going to raise a powerful sacrifice to raise it unto God wherever you are in the leading of the spirit of the living God we are going to do so from midnight all the way until Sunday, we're going to raise this sacrifice to God and to give Him all the praise that He deserves. As you do so, by the obedience, remember we are not children of disobedience, but the children of disobedience are the children of the prince of the powers of the air. But since you are the children of obedience, born of His word, as we submit to this instruction, I pray that the reign of God's blessing shall reign over you that there shall be an abundance of God's faithfulness and breakthrough that shall carry us on to the next phase of this year 2024. You are held powerfully in the hand of God and you are kept in His hands. The Lord bless you and bless your seed and your sacrifice that you are lifting. You are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed and our children are blessed. In Jesus' precious mighty name, I recommend you to God and to meet tomorrow, same time, same place. Shalom. God bless you.